That's a good fish. Goodness. Hey y'all, Justin McKay, Catfish. I'm out here on the Tennessee River today, getting set up to do some catfishing. And where I'm gonna be fishing at today, it's kind of just an area where I can hide from the wind. The wind is kicking today. And a couple days ago, we had a front move through, dumped a bunch of rain, and our water level is up significantly. We're probably, I don't know, three, four feet above summer pool right now. And TVA is just cranking out the current flow right now. So with that wind blowing directly upstream today against that hard flowing current, it's creating a lot of chop out there in the main channel. So I have come over here to this creek uh, in an effort to get out of that heavy current flow and get out of the heavy chop there in the wind. And this particular creek I've done well in. Uh, I've caught some good fish here, so we're going to give it a shot here today and see what happens. So I'm anchored down here in this creek channel 20 feet deep. And you can see here the water level here. I'm kind of protected from the wind. The water is calm here. So we're going to be able to suspend fish pretty effectively, I feel like. And I'm just going to have my baits down directly under the kayak. I'll have them set in about 18 feet deep. And for bait today, it's kind of going to be just a hodgepodge. I've got a white bass from a, a previous uh, ultralight trip a few nights ago, and I've got my leftover bait from the last catfishing video you've seen. I had a couple crappie and some bluegill there. And then on the way over here, I found a couple shad floating. So I went ahead and picked them up too. They've probably rotted from the inside out, but if times get hard, we'll throw them on a hook tonight. So kind of just going to be a hodgepodge of a, a bait situation here, but I'm going to put a few hours in. I've got about, I don't know, two hours, two and a half hours of daylight left out here. And I'm probably going to fish till 30 minutes, an hour past dark. Tonight. We'll just give it a little time there past dark, see some flatheads get active and move in here. But I'm going to get these baits on here, see if we can hook a big one. Okay guys, there's the first bait. That white bass head. Drop it down. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start out anyway with three rods baited with cut bait. I'm just gonna use this whole white bass. I've got three baits out of it, a head and two body sections. We'll start with that. And I'm gonna have a live crappie on one of these rods too. This bait on here. I we'll have a head and body section going off the back two rods. Scales off and scales will cause you to lose a fish real fast. There's that. So I'll have that head and body section off these back rods. I'll have a body section off this rod and then I've got a double hook rig here on this other rod here to put that live crappie on. half a mind to cut one of them crappie and use them for cut bait and I may end up doing that still. We'll see how the live bait treats us. That's one thing about white bass, it's a tough bait. It's hard for the dinks to rip it off the hook. There's that. That's on a Carolina rig. An old trusty ugly stick rods here. And I'm sitting in about 20 feet deep, which is about the shallowest that I like to suspend fish at. Any shallower than that, I generally don't do with the flip suspend fishing. We're going to give it a shot here tonight and see what happens. All right, and there's our live crappie. One hook through the lip, one through the back. Trimmed his dorsal fin there and his pectoral fins. We'll make him swim kind of erratic down there. Drop him straight down and see what he can attract for us. All right, we got all four rods out. We're fishing. Got hit right there. There he goes, man. There he goes. He's going to spin it around. Heck yeah. That's on that head. And he just went right back there and got my anchor rope, y'all. I feel it rubbing on it. Goodness, now. Hope he comes out of it before he gets all tangled up in it. Oh, he's pulling, I'll tell you that, man. It's fun when you're in this shallow water. It is fun. 
I mean, I got about 18 feet of line out. Oh, he is in my anchor rope. Good, man. I actually don't feel him anymore. He may have come off. Nope, nope, there he is. He's in it. I sure was hoping he's going to come out of it. This wind's blowing just enough when I pulled out anchor. Gone that way in a hurry. Look at that thing. That dang anchor rope is right there around that hook. <laughs> These dang fish, I mean, they just, they got a sixth sense for it. They just know where that anchor rope's at. Yeah, buddy, we're getting our bait back. That little devil ain't stealing our bait. For what he done to me, my anchor rope there. All right, let's hold him up there. That ain't a bad fish, man. First one of the evening here. Old fun sizer. We'll throw him here on the board. I'm guessing he's probably 34 inches or so. Yeah, pretty close. He's about to flop again. Let's let this thing go. He's on me, man. Goodness gracious. He's clamped down on my thumb. Couldn't hardly get rid of him. He's fired up, buddy. All right. Well, let me get my anchor situation sorted out here. Now, we're going to drop that bait back down there and see if we can find one a smidge bigger. Let's see what's going on right here now. See what's going on on this rod. We got one on there, man. He's swimming with it too, buddy. He's a swimming with it. That's on a white bass body section. I actually didn't feel him. He had, he just kind of took off and I just noticed my rod. That's a decent size blue too. For me not to have felt him bite. Just seen my rod tip going. Heck yeah, man. There's two blues now on the white bass. Crappie still hasn't been touched up here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, that right there may be a little bigger than the last one. I swear I didn't feel him bite. I just seen my rod moving. What do you eat? That white bass body section, which I'm gonna drop back down here in a minute. Yeah, buddy. I'm pretty sure that one's a little bit bigger than the last one. We'll find out here in a second. <laughs> they fun, man. I'm telling you, 18 feet of line down, and you're gonna get a fight with these things. <laughs> I'm gonna set him here. Oh, 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 oh. Well, heck with him. We didn't want to measure that in no way. <laughs> he was gone, buddy. You know, when you got this 18 foot of line out, like I said, I'm getting them up here to the surface quick. I ain't playing them out very much, so they still full of fight when I get them up here. And that one still had a ton of energy left, so I'm glad he got on out of here. <laughs> All right, I rehooked that bait. We're going to send it back down. There's two decent fish here within about the first 30 minutes, so. Pretty optimistic, y'all. You know, we're in that time of year where these fish are going to be you know, moving shallow more frequently right now. And who, oh, you know, these fish may be moving up in here also just because the water's up. Uh, the current out there in the main channel is kicking right now, so you know, they come out at main channel looking to get out of that heavier current flow. This creek's right here waiting on them, so we'll see. We're going to put in some more time out here see what else we pull up. Rod got hit right there, and there it goes, man. Here we go. Hang on, y'all. Hang on. <laughs> That's on the head. <laughs> oh, I love that, man. You can see that rod taking off. <laughs> you can't get that kind of fun in a boat because the fish ain't going to spin a boat like that. But in these kayaks, there's a lot weight. Even a fish like this can get you moving in a kayak. He's still full of energy. He still is. I'm gonna have to play him out a little bit. We ain't gonna have a refeed of them last two fish acting a fool up in here. Goodness, man, I didn't think I was getting that hook out. He just did not want to open his mouth up. Oh, there he is. That's another one of them old fun sizers. It's probably, I don't know, 
33, 34 inches long. I ain't gonna bother putting him on that board. So I can feel him. You can just feel the energy he ain't done. <laughs> Let's let him go before he goes crazy on us. Pull out here. Alright. Well, we got our head back on that one. So I'm gonna rehook it here. We'll send it back down. And with two fish on it, we may get a third. Probably gonna end up doing those, cutting out of the crappie I got in the bucket and using it. That's probably what's gonna end up happening. Uh oh, my camera's still going. It's gonna say that, that rod up there got hit. There it goes. There it goes, man. Oh, he didn't hook up. He hit it, he didn't hook up. Let's get this bait down there right quick. It's exciting, y'all. <laughs> It's fun. I'm freezing to death out here. That wind is cold, and it's cold today anyway. But I'm having a good time. You know what? You know what, y'all? That fish is on there, too. He is on there, too. Yeah, man. I thought he'd let it go. He's still on there. That's on that uh, other white bass body section I thought he'd hit it I thought he let it go he may have let it go and just come back for it oh, that's a flathead right there flathead on the cut bait got the live bait sitting there not getting touched we got a flathead on the cut bait got our bait back too that's another bonus getting there <laughs> oh, he's just a little thing I like him anyway oh he's still full of energy too I'm bringing him in too quick let's let him go short line I'm getting them up to the surface quicker than what I normally do and they just still full of spunk when I get them up here right, let's check this bait yeah, it's still Still hook good and everything, so we'll just send it right back down with it. All right, y'all, what is that now? Four fish? Four fish, maybe a little over an hour. We'll take it. Oh, oh crap. I was putting that crappie head on that other rod, man. That's a good fish right there, buddy. That's a good fish. Goodness, man. Oh yeah. I'd cut that crappie up and I put the head, I was putting the head on that front rod. Oh, this fish has got my anchor rope too, man. Maybe not. <laughs> bad timing, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know if it's ever a bad time to catch a fish, but I was just getting that, that crappie on there, man. I don't think this guy, he got in my anchor rope, but I think he come out of it. I think it's going to be a good fish right here. Oh man, he's pulling. Boy, this is fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast out here. Oh, that's a big flathead, man. That's a big flathead. Oh man, that's a big flathead right there. Look at that, buddy. Oh, yellow thing right there. Oh, yellow thing. On the white bass body section. I got hit back there, too. White bass body section. Had the live crappie right up here up front. I ain't touching it. Went for the white bass body section instead. I'm telling you all, these flatheads. At least where I fish out here on the reservoirs, Tennessee River, cut bait's where it's at for flatheads. All my biggest flatheads have come on cut bait. I'll still throw live bait from time to time, but that cut bait's hard to beat out here. All right, y'all, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I think he's hooked pretty good. I'm gonna leave him sitting a minute, and I'm gonna do what I was trying to do when he hit, and that is, take 
take that crappie head and drop it down there. So we'll let him tire himself out there a minute while we get this bait set and then we'll bring him in here. That's a good fish, man. I'm gonna get some pictures of that fish. Let's bring that thing on up in here, man. Look at that old yellow thing. Them old yellow cats, buddy. He is bright yellow. And that's what he eat. He said, heck with that live crappie over there. He wants to cut bait, man. This is a good fish, man. He is solid. Let me set this camera down a minute. Look at that, man. <laughs> yeah! Is that awesome or what? <laughs> I love it, man. He is heavy. That is a heavy fish. Love it, man. Look at that. <laughs> man, I'm happy about this fish. It is so much fun catching these fish on a suspended bait, and especially when you ain't got much line. All right. Let's stick him on this board here and get a length of them. I guarantee he's over 40 inches. Yep, y'all, that one right there. He'll touch 42 inches. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, man. Y'all, that fish right there will touch 42 inches, man. That's a good flathead. A man, is he thick. Let's get another look at him here and I'm gonna let him go. Oh man, he's heavy. Let's see you, pal. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> that made my night. That made my week. That fish right there about make my month, man. All right, guys, I'm gonna send that piece of white bass that that flathead eat. I'm gonna send it right back down. Only come out here with one white bass tonight. We're getting our use out of it. Got hit on that head. There he goes, man. Look at him go. <laughs> That's another one on the white bass head. I don't know how big he is. He feels good though. And it's been a day of quality. I've got the place to myself out here today. The high winds and I guess colder weather here. I've kept most of the fishermen off the water today. I've had it to myself out here. That's just how I like it. Oh, he, he's as big as I thought he was. But he's a good fish. He's a fun sizer. Yeah. You know, that fish, that, or that white bass head's caught another one. This is probably the smallest fish we've got on it, but he still ain't a bad fish, man. He's an old fun sizer. I want to drop him out, drop him back down, get that head back down there. That next whopper could be coming along any minute now. Look right there at that rock, man. There it goes. That's on the crappie head now. I just got that white bass head dropped back down. And now this one's taking off. <laughs> They've been on them head pieces today. That's kind of been the, I guess that's where most of the fish have come from. That big flathead, of course, ate the body section, but the bulk of the fish have shown a preference for the heads. That's another, we might call him a fun size, maybe just above a dink. Oh, there goes that rod too. There it goes. I'm gonna leave this and set and pick up on, on this one. 
I was trying to get that and released in a hurry because you know, we're kind of here at the witching hour. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder there, but the sun's went down. I know some fish are going to be moving up in here. I want to have my baits down there waiting on them. Yeah, that's another. That right there's another. About the same size as this one. <laughs> we'll call him a, just above a dink, maybe. Yeah, let's fix this crappie head. All right, y'all, there's that crappie head. I'm going to get it back down here right fast before we land that one. I just want it down there because... Big Mama comes through here. I want it in the water. Okay, now let's land this one. Hopefully, we get our bait back on this one. Yeah, here we are. Got our bait back. And there's the fish. Just let him go. Got time to waste on him right now. Get that bait back down there. Watch y'all, that wind's cold. We're having a little cold spell here. Right now, it's supposed to be down in the 30s tonight. When I get home this evening, I gotta go cover up all my plants in the garden. But these fish are keeping me, keeping me warm right now. Well guys, unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties last night after dark. I, Hooked into that first fish there after the sun went down, went to flip my light switch on, and it didn't come on. And as I got to looking at it, I had somehow or another ripped the wire out of my switch. So, uh, something like that. It's an easy fix here at the house, but not something that I could repair on the water last night. So I didn't end up getting any footage of the fish I caught after dark. But really and truly, there wasn't really anything worth filming anyway. I got some small fish, but nothing of the quality like I had gotten prior to the sun going down. So. Uh, it is what it is, but I'll get that light fixed for the next trip. But uh, anyway, guys, man, it was a fun trip last night. The blues and especially that flathead, man. Flatheads like that, I only get a few of them every year of that kind of size and quality. So every single one I get is special to me. So uh, anyway, though, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll get that technical stuff with the light worked out for the next trip. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.